Hello, this is Iron Defense Dale, and we will be fighting this week um, in the WTDL Draft League. Um, JBX. JBX is an incredible battler, has not dropped a game yet in two weeks, and we are going to jump right into it. I'm going to send the battle. And this is going to be a heck of a fight. Heck of a fight. Looking forward to this. Okay. Um, deny open team sheets. Okay. <clears throat> so I do have a game plan for this. I wrote it down ahead of time. The game plan, actually, actually, let me quick uh, tell people in the chat that we're battling. Do -do -do. Okay, <clears throat> so my plan here for, for game one is to do some trickery right away. Right away. Um, this is the plan. We're just going to go right into it. Okay. Okay, that's a little sus. We're going to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fake this guy out. All right, for the psychic. That's fine. Good lead. Don't think there's anything Iron Moth can really do to uh, to kill either of these outright. I mean, the Noivern can with the Draco, but it's going to get faked out. Okay. I'm pretty confident about this this lead. You know, he's gonna try and get tailwind off. It's no big deal. Um, I'm gonna immediately psychic. He's probably he might switch to the to the uh, to the crew here from uh, from Iron Moth. No, he's not. Okay, that's fine. Okay. That's that's whatever. Now between these two, I think this is the better play. That is a slow... Well, no, not anymore. Shit. Um, let's see what I want to do. Yep. Flamethrower does not do a ton.
It's the real toasted buns right there. I don't think he has anything to really hit me. I'm pretty, pretty bulky. Okay, that's very nice of him to do. I'm surprised he overheated right there. That's a very bulky iron moth. Let's see what this guy does. I'm just going to heal up my toasted buns here. See if he goes for the kill on Melted Cheddar. He might. No, he doesn't have Tailwind. No, I do have Flash Fire, but I don't have Heat Wave. I have Magma Storm, just for trapping. He can't switch, so this is a really good situation for me. Um, I don't think he can kill either of these. Um, he might be able to kill the... If he kills Toasted Buns, like, that's a problem, but it is what it is. I don't know why he's doing that. Okay. It's fine. Lamal. Uh oh, this looks a little suspicious, doesn't it? I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do this. Nice. Nice. He did terrifier, which means I'm just going to do that. Just gonna keep bitter malicing. Just gonna protect here. We're gonna let that ship him down. He's thick fat for sure. I don't know what his his iron hands is, but it's not doing so good. He knows it's not a Zapdos. There's no way he knows it's not a Zapdos. Like, that is a one health, <laughs> that is a one health Sash to Zorark, if I've ever seen one. Oh, that's, this is great. This is great. We're just going to taunt, and we are going to, uh, see, how did I do this? How did that go? Hands was faster than toasted buns. 
I'm just gonna go right for the earth power. <sighs> yeah, that's fine. That was that was pretty good. That's a super fan. That's flamethrower. So I'm going to go with a Terra Blast here. I don't want to give this thing a uh, a burn because it might have facade. That would be a that I that I predicted that would be its main damaging move is facade. So. He might just go tailwind here. Oh, what a what a good thing. Okay, yeah. Interesting play. Interesting play. Getting tailwind up for his own iron hands. I don't know what he's going to do here. This will be interesting. He's got Drain Punch Swords Dance, but he's burned. I can kind of just ignore his... His hands. That, that was a nerdy play right there, so I'm very shocked that that was... A play that he did. Yeah, even the crit ain't going to do much. We're going to taunt him again. We're gonna go for the chip. Never mind. We are going to. S We're gonna Terra Blast protect this time. You know, I don't want to toast to get a KO. <laughs> The double Zapdos. Oh, that's a little suspicious. <laughs> that's, a, that's a little suspicious. Um, <laughs> oh, I wonder who got the KO there. That was great. <laughs> uh, that was that's funny. Okay, so here's the next one. Um, my next lead's gonna be a little different. So he went that he went with his his lead there. I think that's pretty good. I actually like that same lead. Um, he didn't really have a lot of answers for it. Um, I'm gonna disguise this orc as Heatran again. It was just really good. It'll be the same thing. I really enjoyed that. Um, I don't think Serena needed to come. I just, I don't think he... It was really needed. Okay. It's Moxie. Interesting. It's Moxie. Um, very interesting. Well, I know that Covert Cloak is on that, um, 
is on that uh, Noivern, so that's really good. <clears throat> that means I get a free fake out here into the Kruk. It's not intimidating me, which is interesting. He pretty much called that I only had one physical attacker that was relevant. Interesting. Tearing the Iron Moth. That's fine. We're going to go into Crispy Bacon. And I am going to Terror Blast the Iron Moth. See how much that does. Okay, the Terror Blast. Okay, you protect him. That kind of sucks. He's got Moxie now. I'm just going to bring Gothtel back out. Oh my god. Holy crap. That just kills. I did not expect that. This is what I gotta do here. I gotta Terra, and I gotta go for the Will O Wisp on the Crook. Do I have any hope of salvaging this? Which I might. If you didn't bring Snorlax, I have hope. That's interesting. Nice. We're just gonna. Now, did he have fake out? I don't think he had fake out. I'm just gonna call it. I'm gonna call his bluff. <clears throat> oh, he can't fake on me anyways. I'm ghost type. So, interesting play going in. Okay, it's fine. I'm not gonna do anything. Magma Storm, that Iron Hands. Never mind. Magma Storm, the Snorlax. Magma Storm the Iron Ants. This is going to be something. That's leftovers. Shit. A little tough. Oh, the yawn. Oh, that's rough. Regardless of what he does, I take out Iron Hands here. Kruk's gonna come back in. Yeah. That's fine. Interesting choice. Um, I'm asleep, right? Yeah, I'm asleep. So I have one turn of sleep that I have to do. So I'm just going to click a button. Interesting. Self KOs in both games. <clears throat> that is very weird. I would have never guessed that would have happened. Let's see what he does. So, okay, Rock Slide, that's going to hurt. We're going to go for the Protect again. 
If I wake up, this this is decent. I, I might miss a rock slide. No crunch, that was weird. Yeah, I lost, but... Oh, the rocks I missed anyways! Ah, oh, but my Magma Star missed. Such is life. Okay. I misplayed pretty bad against that Iron Moth. Misplayed pretty bad against the Iron Moth. But two self-KOs. That is, like, a very interesting play from JBX. I would have never expected him to make that decision. That is, that is very weird. That is not a normal play to do in most scenarios. So, I'm a little surprised that that happened. A little surprised that that happened. In two games in a row. We'll see if it's another situation like that. Okay. I'm gonna go Melted Cheddar again. I'm gonna go... Let's see. He brought two Fairy Weak Pokemon. He hasn't used a Poison-type move yet. I feel confident in bringing Honey Mustard in the lead. I would have bring Sarina, but he hasn't even bothered using priority, so. Not gonna bring the trickery. Totally fine. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Let's see if I can bait out a heat wave. Because he's loved going for that heat wave early. That was a big flinch. That would have killed the crew for sure. Pixie plate near max special. Like that would have melted. Never mind, but that's still really good. <sighs> the Iron Moth's gonna tear our switch here. Yeah, Terra, protect, overheat, okay. Well, if you're going to do that, I'll just burn you. Um, that heat wave's going to hurt. Oh, that was big. That was really big. It's 
So I'm going to click a moon blast on this slot. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a thing. Now he's stuck here. Floor just has done its damage. He can't fake out. He's stuck in. Ryan Hands is there. I'm going to try and burn it. And we will. Now the fun part is, is that I have to effectively double into this wiggly tough because this iron hands ain't gonna do crap oh that's big the 2k ho the snarl's going to suck, but I can live with that. I'm going to stop the snarl. Earth power. Earth power and... No, I really got to take out that crook. Interesting choice. Now that he's crippled his stuff. I am kind of just click buttons, right? He's locked himself in a rock slide, I think. I think he is choiced. I think he's he's not he's not scarfed, is he? There's no way. The burn picked up the KO, nice. Nice, Zapdos got another KO. GG's. GG's. I'm going to check to see if these battles are being submitted. They were. They were being submitted. Awesome, Nerdy was helping me out. That's good. Um, I was just going to submit them all at the end. Thanks, Nerdy. Appreciate it. Um, let me see here. I'm going to go over my team quick for JBX. So my team for with JBX, so it's Arena with Wide Lens with High Jump Kick, Knock Off, Charm Taunt, didn't come. It was there mostly to just like sort of uh, block that fake out and then cripple his Dusclops, which didn't even, didn't even show up. Um, and then also knock off for the dust clops, charm for pre any of his physical attackers. Didn't even need to show up. It was good, but it just didn't need to. Gothitelle was great. Heal Pulse came in clutch. Um, Zorark, despite not getting any KOs, I think, it played a good role with Bitter Malice. Um, uh, I know it got a cut. I think it got two. It, it played a good role with Bitter Malice and Taunt. Um... The Heatran with the Shaka, pretty good. I don't think I needed a Shaka, but it was there if I if I absolutely had to use it. Very defensive build, a max defense. Absorbed those hits from Stomping Tantrum like crazy. Um, Zapdos had Substitute. Um, it didn't need it. Didn't even need Tailwind because it only Tailwind only showed up one game and didn't really matter. Florges, um with the Moonblast didn't do a whole lot, but 
did some with that moon blast. Um, it was mostly just the Heatran being bulky show. Like, that was great. Heatran being bulky. Who thought? That's what we love to see. Okay, I am going to close this out. Thank you for watching. This is Iron Defense Dale. This was week three against JBX. This was a fantastic battle. Exciting. I felt pretty good about it. Um, and I do feel pretty good about my performance. This was fantastic. Thank you for watching.